Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a new hardware device that can greatly enhance your VR experience. Coming up next on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Knobster as well as the KnobFS application for Microsoft Flight Simulator. After that, we'll go over the Sim Innovations website and show you where you can download the KnobFS application as well as where you can pick up the Knobster itself. Now, I am going to preface this by saying the Knobster is very expensive. I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. So for all of the comments that are going to come in, like this is ridiculous and all that, I get it. This is what we have. So this is what I'm going to show you. If you have any comments or questions along the way, please post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If the video helps you out, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. So before we get into actually using the Knobster itself, I first would like to go over the application that can be found in the toolbar icon up here at the top. Over on the left hand side of the panel, we have two different menus here. Bottom menu is going to be your setup menu, and this is where you're going to choose the different functions that you're going to want to use your Knobster for. So for instance, if I want to use this to start the aircraft, I'm going to highlight and then check the ignition key. So now once you go through all of these and check all the different functions that you want to use your Knobster for, then we're going to go to the top menu. This is going to be the selection menu. What I mean by that is if we want to adjust our Nav1 frequency, we can just select Nav1 frequency. And now if I use my Knobster, you can see the Nav1 frequency is changing. Once we get to what we want, we can press in on it and it will swap that over for us. You're also able to change the functionality by not using a mouse because let's face it, that's what we want, more immersion, so we don't want a mouse. So if we press in on the Knobster, we will have a green highlight bar appear on the screen and we can now use that to scroll through the different menus. So for instance, flaps, I would then press it again. And if I take a look down here, you can see that my flaps are changing. That is so, so neat that we're able to do this. Now, the other really neat feature about the Knobster is that we're able to use this with our Garmin GPS units. So let's go ahead and show you how that's going to work right now. Let's say we're going to enter a flight plan here. We can use our knob to select the flight plan menu, press in on the knob, select our origin, and you can see just how handy this is going to be when we're in VR because we don't have access to a keyboard or anything like that to be able to enter the flight plan manually. So now we're able to use our dual encoder knob here to do that. And I really think that's going to make our flight planning and just our overall VR experience that much better. On the main MFD, we can select the HSI OBS and use our outer knob to adjust our heading and the inner knob to adjust our course. One last thing that I will touch on is the time of day. And I think this is so, so cool. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. All right, so that's pretty much all we're gonna go over as far as the application in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think you get the gist of what we can do here. And this is gonna be aircraft specific. I think that is really cool. So this way you don't have to go through here every single time you spawn in and check all the different functions that you wanna use. So one last thing that I want to add before we move into the next segment of the video, if you're going to be using the knob for say one specific task, the entire flight. So let's say you're just going to want to use it for the Garmin G1000. I can now exit out of this application and I can still use the knobster for that specific task. But if you want to scroll through to different functions, you are going to need to have that application open. So you can just go back up to the top and open that again. Welcome back. So we're now on the Sim Innovations website. I know a lot of people are just going to click off on the video right now as soon as they see this price. But let me tell you something. I'm not going to say it's worth 95 euros, but it's definitely worth having for VR. 
All the links for these websites will be down below in the description, so if you'd like to pick up an officer, please do so. In all transparency here, I want to say I am not sponsored by Sim Innovations, nor the Knobster program, or any of that stuff. I do not make any commission if you click on those links down below. So now let's take a look at the Sim Innovations KnobFS software. If we scroll down on this page in the installation section, you'll see the download link there. If we scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, under the Advanced Usage section, we also have the ability to create more functions for the Knobster. For instance, in the normal functions that they give us to choose from, I did not see one for the Cap 140. So I went ahead and created that function for the Knobster. This will give us a basic outline of how we need to set up our custom functions for the Knobster. If you would like to create custom profiles or functions for your Knobster, then there's two ways in which we can get the proper commands that we need to enter into the JSON file. Either we can click on the Microsoft SDK or the Mobi Flight. I prefer the Mobi Flight. You can hit View Contributions, and I'm just going to show you how I went about creating the Cap 140, and then you can kind of use that as an example. So the first thing you need to do in the search preset box is we're going to type Cap 140 or whatever function you're looking to adjust, and then it will bring us up all the different functions of that. So we can see here the Cap 140 outer knob, increase, decrease, the push, the inner knob, um, long push for the barrow, you can also set something up for the push down buttons, but again, I only want to set the knob portion for the Cap 140, not any of the buttons. So all we would need to do is to click on the drop down here, and it would give us the command right here in the code that we would need to use in our JSON file. And you would do that for each command that you want to add to the knobster. So we will go down to the outer knob, get the outer knob code, go down to your push or the inner knob. Then you also have the long knob push for your barrow if you like to use that. So now once you have all of the commands that you want to use, now we need to open the file on your PC so that we can create that new JSON file for you. Sim Innovations have provided the information where you can find that correct folder in which you can add your new JSON file for your new functions. C drive, program files, KnobFS, Modes folder. In this folder, you can find all the different functions that the KnobFS has. To create a new JSON file here can be a little bit tricky. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I right click here to create a new file, it doesn't give me the option to create a JSON source file. So the easiest way that I've found to do this is to simply copy any one of these files. So let's say if I go to Autopilot Vertical Speed, I'm going to right click, go down to Copy, and then go ahead and Paste, hit Continue, and now it will add that new copy for us, and it says it's a copy. Now from here what you can do is to right click on that, change to Properties, and now you can call this whatever you want, hit OK, Continue. So now that you have renamed the function, we now need to open up the JSON file so we can adjust the settings in there so that we can use it for the function that we want. Because I've already created a Cap140 JSON file, I'm just going to open that one up instead. So I'm going to right click, edit with notepad, and here's the file that I put together. Again, all of this information that's over here on the right has come from that website that I just showed you prior. So pretty much all you're going to do is copy and paste from that website and paste that information into our JSON file here. You just want to make sure that you have the correct knobs synced up with the correct code. So your inner knobs are all going to be on the minor, your outer knobs are going to be on the major, and of course we have the button release code. At the very bottom, this is going to be an order. So you do need to change this from what it was. So let's say the order number was what you see here. All I'm going to do is change the last number to a two, and this way they won't conflict with each other. So once you finish up with adding all your code here, then you want to go up to the file, down to save, hit yes. And that is a crash course in creating a new function for your knobster. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If you enjoyed the video today or found it useful, 
make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.